everybody. Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com with our XFL report. Week one in the XFL. Hey, we just finished up 59% over the last 14 college football and NFL weeks combined. And now we're going to jump into more football. Week one of the XFL back in the ring to take another swing, as ACDC would tell us. Before we get to the free pick in uh, this weekend's XFL action, a real quick note. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, hey, click on the link below the video get yourself set up for a free $60 account and then use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster for that matter. Again, click on the link below the video to get yourself set up for that free $60 account. Great way to get DocSports a trial run. All right, listen, XFL is in action. We, we were jumping in on the AAF last year. We had a nice start and then the season decided to fold. Well, will this season make it through an entire season? Uh, as our good friend Rafael Esparza over at MyBookie has already hung a number on whether or not this league will get through its championship game, get to and through the championship game in season one. And good news, the yes, minus 2,000, the no, plus 1,000. So with these TV contracts, Fox, ABC, ESPN showing this league, we've got a good chance to get through an entire season, at least one season of the XFL. And I do think there are advantages to take, uh, to take for us to take advantage of, some different rule changes, things of that nature. Uh, we know there's going to be no kick extra point. So if you haven't heard already, you score a touchdown, you get a point if you line up from scrimmage with a two-yard conversion. You get two points for a five-yard conversion. You get three points for a 10-yard conversion. One touchdown has the potential of putting nine points on the scoreboard. And you know, we used to say in the NBA, when they first brought the three-pointer into the NBA, adopting it from the ABA, we used to always say, three stop three is a 6-0 run. Well, guess what? In the XFL, nine stop nine, 18 nothing run. How do you like that? So listen, here's my advice. Try to find offensive coaches for the most part, offensive minded coaches. Look for coaches with a philosophy that is going to put points on the board and gamble a little bit. Uh, look for strong quarterbacks. There are some teams in this league with real good quarterbacks, some teams not so hot. And look for that offensive line. We got to have a good, strong offensive line. Also, you might want to check out secondaries because you're going to see a lot of four wide receiver sets. You will see kind of a run and shoot type of play uh, from a couple of teams when it comes to tossing to the running backs, to the tight ends, where they're going to use them on the field. Uh, you got the entire mix of different kind of offenses that are going to be used in this league. So you, you might want a good secondary. And uh, we've got two plays, by the way, two premium picks in the XFL for week one, uh, starting with Saturday's card. So don't miss out on that. My plays over at DocSports.com will be posted on Saturday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific for the entire weekend of XFL. More on the XFL in just a minute. want to tell you our big play. We've got one in college basketball going on Saturday slate. It is our first eight-star play of the entire college basketball season. It will be posted on Saturday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, our last 76 college basketball sides, we're hitting 60% against the spread. Don't miss out on that first eight-star of the entire season going on Saturday slate. Uh, all right. Also, by the way, for those of you who asked, my UFC 247 card, I've got one play. It'll be posted on Friday night if you're watching this early, 11 p.m. Pacific time, so you'll be able to get it anytime after that up until the fight card starts. XFL, let's get to it. I just told you about how they're going to decide extra points. You're going to see a difference in kickoffs. The kicker will be the only one of his entire kick unit that will be standing on his side of the 50-yard line. Uh, the kicking team, the rest of the kicking team, will be downfield around the 35 yard line of their opposition five yards away from the receiving team's front line. Uh, they've almost guaranteed the fact that there's going to be no touchbacks, whether it be kickoffs or punts. So check it all out. Uh, you can Google it. You can find all the rules. But trust me, man, we have been diving into this league since we first heard about it. And again, we've got those two premium picks for Saturday over at DocSports.com. My free play in opening weekend action of the XFL, the battle on Sunday between St. Louis and Dallas. And I'm recommending into to play on St. Louis. Now, shop around, you might be able to find uh, 10 points out there. Uh, but for the most part, St. Louis is getting nine and a half. And we like nine and a half. And by the way, speaking of all this, throw away those key numbers that you got used to in college football.
football in the NFL all these years. This is not your father's football. This is not your father's key numbers. There are no three, six, and seven key numbers like we saw in traditional football. So anyway, uh, we recommend St. Louis plus nine and a half. The league, as we mentioned, is geared for offense, but there's no doubt about it. The strength of the Battle Hawks to start this season is on defense, and we're talking all units up front, linebackers, where they're good up the middle, and the secondary, which is going to be strong. They're going to face a Dallas offense that has some injuries at the quarterback position. Uh, you'll all remember some of the names in this league. Landry Jones, quarterback for Dallas, for instance, who used to play for the Steelers. Well, he's banged up. He's a game-time decision. May play. Uh, their third stringer is banged up. If Landry Dr Jones is unable to go, we'll likely see Philip Nelson. You might re remember him a little bit from the AAF if he got involved with that league a year ago. Uh, the running backs, the wide receiver units are all decent for Dallas, and you know, they own a decently talented offense for the most part, but this has all been baked in this number. I really do believe that St. Louis is going to be able to hang this number and keep it close. So I'm recommending to play week one in the NFL, our free play, St. Louis plus nine and a half or more over Dallas. And again, two premium picks right off the bat, week one in the XFL. I think we can take advantage of the early week just like we did in the USL, USFL when it first started going, just like we've done in the first five or six weeks of the CFL every year, and just like we did last year out of the blocks in the AAF. Go check it out. If you want to jump on board, the picks will be available Saturday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. All right, again, St. Louis on Sunday, my free pick in the XFL. Well, and this video will be up the entire weekend, but check out my basketball videos. We'll have multi-videos up, including college basketball. We'll have at least two videos up for Saturday, another one on Sunday, so be sure to check those out. Hope you like these videos. If you do, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put opening week in the XFL in the win column.